What's going on? It's Casey from casey-sounds.com. So today's video is what happens if you buy a lease and then it gets sold as an exclusive. So I've got a question the artist was saying, what happens if he buys a lease and a month later, someone buys the exclusive, what happens to his song? So my advice to him or you as an artist is go back to your agreement, check your agreement and see what it says. Anytime you buy a lease or an exclusive, you should get a, an agreement or a contract that tells you what you can and can't do. So with the lease, the lease should tell you whether or not you've got a certain amount of units you can sell or if there's a time limit on your lease. So for some producers, they put a time limit on their leases, say like up to a year or whatever. But me, me personally, I don't do that because I don't really think it's fair on the artist because they might buy the beat and they might not use it for six months or however long it is. And then they've got to buy a lease in the next couple months. Personally, I don't think time limit is a good thing, but each to their own. Some producers do that and, and it works for them. So like I was saying, the artist, you as an artist, you need to go and check your agreement, make sure you know if it's a certain amount of units you can sell, uh, or you've got to renew your lease at a certain date, certain time. In between that time, for example, you haven't sold say 6,000 units, you're still able to, to do that because that's what it says in the agreement regardless of whether or not a new artist has bought an exclusive. So up until that point, you should be okay. So you ain't got to worry about the exclusive artists coming to you, telling you to take your, your song off of iTunes or take it down off Spotify because the agreement states that you can use that beat up until whenever. But at the same time, the person who has bought the exclusive, they have got a right to contact you and say, look, this is my beat now, do you know what I'm saying? And I'm, and I'm putting it out there, doing a lot of units and it's doing really well, do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's it's one of those things. It can get kind of sticky. It's a bit of a sticky one still. That's why some producers don't do both. They don't sell leases and exclusive or they just stick to one or the other. So when you buy your beat, make sure you're looking at your agreement, your contract, and you know exactly where you stand in terms of selling units for your song. Just to wrap it up, if you've bought a lease beat and you've put the song out and you're getting a few units sold, don't think that once the exclusive been bought that you have to take your stuff down. Unless it says that in the agreement or the artist who's bought the exclusive has said that to you, then you should be okay to continue selling your songs on iTunes, Spotify, wherever it is you're putting them without any worry of someone telling you to take your song down. I've seen it loads of times. I've heard beats where I've I've mixed songs now hear another artist on the song and they're both doing re like really well on Spotify so yeah I think it's just one of them things you just have to know where you stand with your agreement and if you're not if you ain't too sure just hit up the producer and say look what happens now do you know what I mean I hope that's cleared it up for you if it hasn't drop a comment make sure you hit me up on Instagram because I'm always posting up little tips and tricks that I don't always post on YouTube if this video has helped you at all make sure you hit that like button hit the subscribe button Hit the notification bell so you know anytime I upload something new. As per usual, I appreciate your time and thank you for watching. Music is life. Peace.